Hey guys, Eric Martel here. This video is part of a six video series based on a presentation I did at a real estate conference in Los Angeles in 2022. In my presentation, I discussed the importance of financial freedom, why it should be your number one goal. I also discussed how critically important it is to invest in real estate to protect your wealth and your purchasing power for the future. Make sure you watch the whole series. There's a lot of information in there. So your number one goal should be financial freedom, achieving financial freedom. I think that should be your number one goal. Number one, that means after that, once you achieve that, you can do other things, okay? So, but the goal is to achieve financial freedom, buy your time back, and then there's the, the lot, number of doors open for you after that, okay? Other, whatever you wanna do. But this is, should be your number one goal. There are a number of strategies to achieve, you know, uh, fin that financial freedom goal is to invest always in passive income strategies. There's all kinds of different passive income investment that you can invest with, and we're gonna talk about that and how to select the right one. So, but the idea here of this strategy alignment triangle is that that strategy, for that strategy to be successful, it needs to be supported by a couple of things, right? All of these things need to be aligned in, al in alignment. Your, your strategy needs to be supporting your goal, and underneath that, you need to be in the right market and you need to also have the right resources. So an example of a right market, if I want to do single family rent, cash flowing single family rental, right? That's a good strategy that supports my goal. I want to do that in uh, downtown San Francisco. Is it, the right, listen, is it the right market for that? No, right? So unless I pay the house cash, then it's going to cash flow but then my return is horrible. So it doesn't make sense. It's not the right market for that strategy. If you do that same strategy in Memphis, if you do that same strategy in Cleveland, Detroit, and other markets that we're investing in, then it makes sense. You can find cash flowing rental properties and it's gonna make sense. So you have a market that's supporting that strategy to make it successful. The other thing that, that's important is resources. So time and money namely, so how much time do you have to dedicate and also how much money you have to, uh, to invest. So that's very important because if you're doing some of, the, some of the strategies, they work well. All these strategies work well. There's always people in real estate that are making money in all kinds of different ways, different strategies. But does that strategy really work for your situation for the amount of time and money that you have? That's what's important. So time, if you have only a few hours a, a, a week to dedicate to your investment strategy, then you, know, you probably don't want to pick something which is a ground up development of a, maybe a land development. You probably don't want to be involved in that actively because you won't be able to, it won't be successful. You, if you have very little money, probably it doesn't make sense to go and buy like a, a hundred unit apartment building because just the, um, you know, just the due diligence is probably going to cost you all your savings and then you still have to do, you know, more work after that and the down payment and all that kind of stuff. You can supplement that, the, time, the time gap or the, um, the money gap with, with a partner. But in here, I'm just going to talk about kind of like if you were to do a loan or with your family and partner to kind of go and do this a strategy that's going to help you achieve financial freedom then you wanna have this time and money to be aligned and supporting your strategy, okay? So this is a strategy quadrant. So on the x-axis, on the horizontal axis, we have time. So how much time is needed for these, uh, for, to implement this strategy, especially at the beginning, right? So there's more work that's needed there. Uh, so you can see that if you wanna do like a value add apartment building, top right hand corner, I mean, it takes a lot of time for me to do that. I have to do a lot more due diligence. I have to really work at making sure that I have the contractor, the scope right before I buy. And then I have to match, ma manage that whole transformation, that own renovation, working with tenants, getting them out, doing the renovation of the unit, putting, putting some new tenants in, blah, blah, blah. Lots of work involved. So that's why there's more time uh, associated with that. On the vertical axis, we have the risk, basically money. How much money do you have to, uh, to invest in this? Uh, and then, again, again value-add apartment building. You need a lot of money to do that. 
a lot more money to, the, and the bigger the units, the, you know, the more money you need. More money in down payment, more money in contractor, more money in, uh, in due diligence even, okay? So where do we want to be in these quadrants if you're getting started? What is the best strategy to get started if you have little money and little time? So bottom left quadrant, right? So this obvious, and we have a couple of, you know, house hacking, right? You have that, you have, so if you have a house right now, you know, you can renovate one of the room and maybe do house hacking or you can do something like that. I, we did that, right? It was great then in Toronto. <laughs> uh, turnkey, turnkey apartment, you know, that's great. You can see that it needs more, some money there, but you know, it, it works. It does, don't need too much, uh, too much time for that. Private money lending also works, you know? And at, of course, at the very bottom left-hand corner, I have turnkey rental. And this is why I'm a big proponent of turnkey single family rental. It re requires very little time to execute and build these turnkey, uh, buy these turnkey single family rentals, and also requires very little money. It's the least amount of money. 